Welcome to Office 2010 video number 51. Hey, in this video we're going to see how to do an email mail merge when our data originates in an access file. Now last two videos we saw how to do a mail merge printing out letters when data was in Excel and we saw how to fix a number formatting problem two different ways. We're going to run into the same problem in this one and we'll fix it inside of Word. Now this, these are our files that we downloaded from our mail merge, well they're in our mail merge folder but we downloaded these over the last couple of videos. Let's first take a look at our access database. I'm going to open this, double click and open it. Over here on the left I want to double click the queries. The queries has the query has the information we need. This is the same exact data we saw over in Excel. I'm going to close this. So in essence, there's how many? There's uh, six records. So when we get to Word, we need six letters, one addressed to each person, and each letter will list just the scores and the final grade. Now I'm going to open up our letters to students. We downloaded this. I'm going to zoom in and we're going to actually do this mail merge, not only from Access instead of Excel, but we're going to use the ribbons. Last time we used the step-by-step -step mail merge. I'm simply going to connect this Word document to the Access database by selecting in the Start Mail Merge, Use Existing List. I'm going to navigate double click this access file. In Excel when the dialog box opened after we uh, connected it, it showed sheets from our Excel workbook but here this is showing tables and queries from our access database. There's our query, I'm going to double click it. Alright, so selecting recipients, that, that action connected this Word document to our access query. Now, uh, we're going to click right here, and just like in the last two videos, we need to insert our fields. Right, This is one letter, but we need to put field codes here. So instead of using our step-by-step -step wizard and our uh, pop-up dialog box, I'm just going to use the ribbon, right, and insert fields. I'm going to come here. Notice my cursor is flashing right there, and I'm going to click on Name. That is the field code that connects this particular part of the letter to the Name field over in our Access table. I'm going to click down here, Insert Score 1, Insert Score 2, Score 3, and finally our percentage grade. Alright, so as we saw in the last couple of videos, if I Alt F9, you can see there's the code that tells Word to uh, look over to Access. I'm going to Alt F9, Control S. Now we can preview the results on, in this preview results group. And we run into the same problem when sending a number data. Now, when we did this in Excel, we saw how to fix it in Word, altering the code, and we also how to, saw how to fix it in Excel. Here we're just going to uh, alter the code. Alt F9 is the toggle that switches between showing us the result and the code. And as we saw in the last couple, two videos ago, we actually two videos ago, we didn't know how to do this, so we searched Google and there was an answer to the first link we got. And here was the extra code we had to type in backslash, pound sign, that's the switch that says go over to format, and then we're just going to type 0, 0.00. Copy, paste, paste, and here we have to do something totally different. And we, we uh, looked online at two videos ago, something tricky here. You have to highlight this entire field and now you have to put, th this is getting a decimal from that access table. And we need to multiply this decimal times 100 and then add the, the switch here for uh, formatting it. So I actually have to put this inside of another field and the keyboard shortcut is Control F9. You can see the curly brackets and curly brackets. You can't type those in. You have to use that Control F9. And then I type an equal sign, that uh, field there times 100. 
and then I'm going to space and control V. So I, I do this field here equals that field times 100 and then the uh, formatting. All right, now I'm going to Alt F9 and I'm going to go forward. And there I see, oh, I can see I made a mistake, but I'm going forward. OK, so I'm going to Alt F9. I forgot the percentage symbol. And then Alt F9 to toggle out, forward up here. And so there you have it. All right. And so now we have our letters. We should have six letters. We go through and preview them. We have six letters because there's six fields over in the access table. Now I'm going to finish the uh, merge. Send email messages. So I'm going to click here. And now check this out. Two, it automatically picked up email. And the reason why is because we named it the field over there something uh, uh, smart. All right, now subject line for our emails. I'm going to say whatever, uh, class two, class grades, or something like that. Now, the reason that this is working, remember, we're using Word and Access. If you don't have Outlook installed, this won't work. So we have Outlook on our computer, and therefore it will work. I'm going to say all, click OK. Now I'm going to go check my email and see if uh, we actually got an email. So in, in the one of the fields, I put my email address. All right, so I opened up my um, Outlook. And sure enough, there's uh, name one. I put my email address for name the person name one, name three, uh, and uh, name five. And you can see that the emails work just fine. So that is how to do a, a mail merge for email, connect it to an access database, and alter the codes so that uh, the number format looks correct. And uh, that should be our last video. I know I said the class's last video was like three videos ago, but that should be it unless I figure out something else to do for this class. All right, we'll see you next video.